Hello and welcome to the latest edition of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders with David Lowenthal. I am David Lowenthal and today we're going to be talking about the technophobic research secret that helped a once unknown author sell over 12 million books in 30 different languages. Uh, the author that we're going to be talking about is Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote a uh, fantastic and fantastic selling bestseller, Eat, Pray, Love, uh, and about nine other bestsellers, um, and has just done phenomenally successful, has, done, has created phenomen phenomenally successful selling books. Uh, but I was recently listening to an interview with her, and she talked about her style of research that I think can absolutely be of use to copywriters and she said uh, she learned this research secret in uh, in high school it was basically uh, you take a shoebox and you take a bunch of index cards you write you know when you research something you write one fact on one index card and then you put the uh, the page number and the the source that you got it from and then you just file it away um, in different uh, in different subjects uh, in the shoebox um, and you know it's 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 very simple, but it's I like the there's a reason I put the technophobic um, word in that uh, in that headline for this video because I think sometimes when we're doing research, it's you know obviously on the internet it's so easy to get distracted, and I think for marketers and copywriters that we need to be really really focused on what it is we're doing, and there's there's also something very nice about having when especially after you're ready to write if you just want to sit down with a notepad and paper and you've got your all of your research here offline it can be very effective because it keeps you in the zone it keeps you you know focus on your prospect focus on your product focus on your offer uh, it can help keep distraction and you know it's just it, it can also be a safer way to keep information you know safe maybe you have a Maybe you put some of it on a digital version and back that up, but but it, it's good when you're actually when you're actually putting your sales letter together, or putting your fundraising letter together, or putting your you know sales email together, or whatever kind of marketing you're doing, having that uh, in a in a convenient spot right next to you. Maybe you're off you know if you're offline, uh, it can be a, it can be a great uh, a great. Um, mentally clearing way to write so you're not distracted by all these pop-ups and all these emails and social media notifications and phone calls and texts uh, and pop-ups and all of these things coming in so I, I urge you to check out the that uh, that secret I, I use it uh, both for my business and for uh, when I, I'm also a, a novelist as well and I'm working on my first uh, novel and I use that for um, for research because I don't like to be using the computer while or a phone or anything while I'm writing and so it's nice when I'm transferring my research uh, to my to my words uh, I don't have to uh, risk getting distracted so um, you can use it to for for whether it's your your writing personally or you're writing for your business it's good for all sorts of writing uh, so thank you for watching uh, this latest edition of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders. Uh, I'm David Lowenthal. Uh, if you're watching this and you're a libertarian uh, entrepreneur, libertarian uh, marketer, a fund, a fundraising marketer, and you serve a mostly libertarian audience, I urge you to check out my uh, daily newsletter, uh, The David Lowenthal Report which is the world's first direct response marketing newsletter aimed at uh, libertarian entrepreneurs and libertarian nonprofit marketers. Uh, you can find that link in the description below. So thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time.